Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president made a historic trip to Thailand, Burma, and Cambodia, attended the East Asia Summit, and pardoned the National Thanksgiving Turkey at the White House with the first family. That's November 16th to November 22nd, or Hello Burma. Myanmar, Nangan Minglaba. On Friday, the president met with congressional leaders to discuss ways to reach a balanced approach to strengthen our economy, support middle class families, and reduce our nation's deficit as the looming deadline of the fiscal cliff approaches. Bright and early on a sunny Saturday morning in D.C., the president began his journey to Asia, traveling 18 hours on the plane, but 24 hours on the clock. On Sunday afternoon, he arrived in the Kingdom of Thailand, America's oldest ally in Asia. On his first trip abroad since his re-election, the president met up with the Secretary of State and kicked off his visit at the stunning Wat Po Royal Monastery, where the head monk introduced him to sacred Buddhas in exchange for removing his shoes. Then it was on to the Government House of Thailand for his official welcome ceremony, guest book signing, and bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Shinawat. Later, the two leaders hosted a news conference before adjoining to a formal official dinner. On the way to his hotel, he made a stop to thank the embassy staff for all their work on behalf of the United States and to give a special thanks to some of the youngest family members in the crowd. On Monday, the President and Secretary of State began a truly historic journey to Burma, the first for an American president, on their last foreign trip together. After a colorful arrival ceremony, they were greeted by thousands of people lining the street as they traveled to meet with President Thane Sein for a bilateral meeting at the Parliament Building. And then to the Shwedagon Pagoda, the holiest cultural site in Burma. The President and Secretary of State met with Nobel Peace Prize winner and opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi at her home, where they spoke about ongoing efforts to support and encourage Burma's democratic transition. Then it was on to the American Embassy, where they thanked staff, their families, and more adorable kiddos. That's a nice one. That's beautiful. Who's got a pump? Who's got a pump? Before traveling on to their final stop in Burma, where the President reflected on his historic visit in an address to the Burmese people. United States. Go. That's me. Today I say to you, and I say to everybody uh, that can hear my voice, that the United States of America is with you, including those who have been forgotten, those who are dispossessed, those who are ostracized, those who are poor. We carry your story in our heads and your hopes in our hearts. Because in this 21st century, with the spread of technology and the breaking down of barriers, the front lines of freedom are within nations and individuals, not simply between them. That evening, the president traveled on to Cambodia, touching down in his third country of the day, where he attended the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN Leaders Meeting, then joined up with all the East Asia Summit leaders, who had all donned their own versions of batik shirts for the occasion. Meanwhile, at the White House, 12 hours away on the clock and on the other side of the globe. The First Lady was hosting the National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Awards, the country's highest honor in this field, which recognizes exemplary programs around the country that foster the creative and intellectual development of America's youth through education. Beforehand, she gave some words of advice to the students from the Mariachi Master Apprentice Program of San Fernando, California, who are both honorees and the entertainment for the event. You make all this happen on shoestring budgets. Uh, you do it in unbelievable ways, um, in, in some of the most difficult circumstances imaginable. But you keep on doing this year after year because you have seen firsthand the transformative power of the arts uh, and arts education in the lives of young people across this country. On Tuesday, before the East Asia Summit officially convened, the President held bilateral meetings, first with Prime Minister Noda of Japan, and then Premier Wen of China. Then it was time for day two of the East Asia Summit, with the group gathering for the traditional family photo and getting down to work at the plenary session. The President capped off his visit by taking some time to thank the embassy staff, their families, and then, well, you guessed it, it was time to go home. <laughs> Yeah, 
Continuing on with his journey eastward and completing a circumnavigation of the globe, the president returned to Washington early Wednesday morning, just in time for a very special pardoning. On Wednesday, the president and the first family pardoned one very grateful gobbler for the 65th anniversary of the National Thanksgiving Turkey Presentation and wished American families a warm, safe, and healthy holiday. Later, in that same spirit of Thanksgiving, the first family contributed some time, effort, and elbow grease to a Capital Area Food Bank service project, assembling care packages for those in need. To find out more information on any of these topics or see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing week. All good? What's your name? Nice to see you. Barack. That's it. Okay, man. Thank you. Thank you.